All right, quick update on Tron. We haven't checked this out in a couple of days, but it does seem like most of the altcoins are kind of lollygagging and doing a whole bunch of nothing at this moment in time. Uh, I have just recorded a few altcoin videos and I'm noticing this pattern within pretty much every altcoin that I cover. We're kind of seeing very, very slight higher lows, and we're also seeing very, very slight lower lows. And it's a lot, it's a bit more prominent over here on Tron uh, than a lot of the other altcoins that I've been doing. For example, I just made a video on Ape, and it's, it's literally completely flat. And this is really kind of definitive of what most of these altcoins are doing at this moment in time. And what I be, mean by that is a whole lot of nothing. You can see very, very flat, boring, mundane, lollygagger type price action so uh for hourly time frame actually let's let's start off on the higher time frames let's go over to the weekly see if we can spot anything uh let's check out tron against our oscillators if we pull up the tron chart for some reason it disappeared disappeared on my other chart let's see if we've got any kind of macro divergences potentially in play let's remove everything all the drawings so uh from here we've been going up price action going up here flat here so we're not seeing anything uh kind of pulling to my eye that we're kind of seeing any type of divergence it seems pretty black and white that the the price is really lollygagging and doing a whole lot of nothing weekly time frame it seems like we're having a very very minor bunny hill and the fact that we're kind of already losing momentum at this moment in time as the squeeze bomb is flipping over reminds me of what we've been seeing previously where you've got these big big runs up in terms of huge exponential momentum fairly decent momentum and then you're kind of seeing this you know it's it's pretty meh not a lot of going on so I, i'm seeing a lot of uh, people getting bored people a lot of people leaving the markets at this moment in time uh and i don't I, well you know do i blame them i, I don't know but uh, there's not a lot going on at this moment in time it is what I'm trying to say uh, daily time frame as well the bears are pushing down once again as we are kind of not really getting above these EMA ribbons and have we seen this before well we pretty much saw this when we broke down from here you can see the last time we saw this we were pretty much kind of hugging these EMA ribbons before we kind of move down and the fact that we're already seeing this bearish flip on the squeeze mom before we're seeing uh, the price move down uh, is is almost like a, a very mini mini divergence and I think it is going to be indicative uh, that Tron is probably going to move back down in the next coming days or so I, I think we're just so so bearish uh, on you know most of the markets Tron had one of the nicest setups I mean it was looking okay after this recent bounce, but we're getting a lot of bearish volume coming in. 31.23 billion Tron was sold last week. That is crazy. It's coming into Wednesday today. We've got about, you know, over 3 billion, so about a tenth of what we saw, you know, just over a tenth, actually, of what we saw last week. It's obviously Wednesday, so this can get more exponential. Uh, but the fact that in previous weeks when we've been bearish, we've seen, you know, maybe 6, 7 you know, 9, 15, 10 uh, billion worth of um, of Tron sold, we're, we're seeing that here. And I don't mean US dollars, I simply mean 10 billion of Tron. Uh, if it was in US dollars, it'd be a lot, lot more up and down uh, with the swings. But this is measured in Tron on the volume. So four hourly time frames to wrap this up. We're really kind of just lollygagging. We're sitting in the middle of nowhere. We do have the apex of this triangle coming into the 20th. So in the next 48 hours, we should have a, a pretty solid move coming for the crypto markets and more specifically uh, the altcoin markets. That's what I'm really paying a lot of attention to recently. I do think these altcoins are you know, underperforming against Bitcoin and I don't believe we've, we've checked out tron btc before but let's pull up a few charts and see what is going on over here because i've been noticing all of the altcoins have been bearish uh, against bitcoin what is tron doing tron's actually tron's actually pretty bullish against bitcoin but once again we are still in like a, a lower lower high from when kind of bitcoin topped out so it does seem like in the higher time frames, you know, we do have these huge runs up. And if you can catch them and time these runs up perfectly, then a lot of the time you will outperform Bitcoin. But at this moment in time, 
considering how we could be setting up for this triple top, potentially quadruple, octuplet top, if you want to consider this a blow-off top, then, you know, it's, it's looking pretty shaky right now, in my opinion. I do think we do definitely need to move down. We're already losing momentum on this time on this time frame uh for hourly though we, we're kind of pushing up still so there could be a little bit more to go before we do drop uh and as tron btc is pushing up i really think this is performing quite well because bitcoin's been having these pretty solid moves to the downside but tron is not i mean in the lower time frames it's not doing much but in the higher time frames it's not doing much either it's having these big ranges but it's staying between these kind of prices. It is absolutely not deviating whatsoever, which is uh, pretty funny. So it seems like Tron is outperforming Bitcoin because Tron is doing a whole lot of nothing while Bitcoin is doing a whole lot of dumping. So very interesting to see there is actually altcoin uh, outperforming bitcoin in the lower time frames i do think looking at this chart bitcoin is about to break down if we do have a landslide below 29,000, close a weekly candle below 29,000. i could see bitcoin coming all the way down to 22,000, which is the 200 day moving average 200 week moving average rather and if we do break below there we could potentially head to around that 19 to 20,000 uh region but with that being said unless we do head down to those price targets then tron could keep on outperforming bitcoin i am of the opinion bitcoin is going to move down to 22 though so that being said if bitcoin moves down to 22 i think tron is going to get destroyed not only against the us dollar but i think this would kind of entail that tron would come all the way back down to the lows uh, from where it is now i could be wrong that would be almost a 50 percent drop about a 43 percent drop over on the chart so tron seems to be doing pretty well against bitcoin we have seen these multiple multiple times and if history is any indication then when you normally get these big big runs up on tron and you start to lose momentum this is normally a, a key time uh, to exit tron and re-enter bitcoin because that is normally the time where tron has already topped out against bitcoin and we could just be coming up once again for this double top depending on whether we're coming up to the closes or the wicks that's my opinion of what's going to happen obviously uh, no guarantees from the management i do think we are going to be breaking down against both bitcoin and the us dollar not necessarily in the next four hours not necessarily in the next couple of days or the next week but i think the next month for sure is my time period for when i think bitcoin could move down Honestly, I think this could happen in the next... I, I think it's going to happen sooner rather than later, right? I think it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. But that's just what I'm planning on uh, on having playing out. That's just my thoughts on the market. So, Tron, a whole lot of nothing. A lot of sideways movement, a lot of boringness. But that being said, because we've been having this boring sideways movement, while Bitcoin is moving down, we've been outperforming Bitcoin. So this is very, very interesting to look at. That is all I've got for Tron. I do not have any trades for this. I do not plan on buying any altcoins while Bitcoin is in this kind of super bearish, uh, ultimate catastrophic uh, potential capitulation range. So, you know, especially if Bitcoin moves below 29, I think altcoins will get slaughtered against Bitcoin. So be very careful trading these markets. Uh, very, very sticky times at this moment in time. So I look forward to updating you in the next video when something happens to Tron. Until then, I think we should be waiting for a breakout of this asymmetrical triangle, which is going to be coming into play before or on the 20th of May. If you are expecting a bullish breakout in the lower time frames, this could potentially play out, especially if we cross 7.23 cent but that being said you cut in my opinion it could be very risky because it could break out against the usd we could come back up to these highs which would mean tron btc would come back up to these highs we could double top roll back over or we could see bitcoin capitulate below 29 and that would mean tron would get absolutely slaughtered so there's a lot of things to watch out for uh, because of that i will be sitting on the sidelines and mainly focusing on bitcoin at this moment in time that's all i've got for you for tron i hope you found this video valuable as always cowboy out peace